Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing TT Isle of Man 3 right on the edge and we are doing career mode today. This is part of my career mode with uh, Lee Johnston in the Super Sport category for the 600cc for the Yamaha R6 and let me tell you this was a challenge and a half to do two laps around this circuit here. This is the northwest course, this is the full version and we have two laps to tackle here. Now there's a very simple objective for this one and it was in my mind, at least it played on my mind for the entirety of both of these laps and that is to beat the time of a 21 minute and 10 second. Now to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever completed the full version of the northwest, uh, northwest course. I have done small sections from it, but I don't believe I've done the full course. So this is effectively quite new for us right now as we go into the tight left-hander here. Difficult change of directions here in this circuit, which quite honestly I, I quite enjoy. I much prefer tight, twisty sections rather than long, massive straights. I do find those straights to the point where I uh, lose a bit of concentration. That You know, you start thinking about different things, thumbnails, titles, anything else really, video ideas, and that's when you start to make some errors and mistakes. But ultimately, the start of this one, I feel pretty confident I've done this one before. It's going to be the middle where I'm going to be a little bit concerned and somewhat tentative on board the R6. Now, of course, with the time objective, it's a very simple objective, but there's always that in the back of your mind. If I crash, is that going to be too much? If I go slow, maybe if I don't get the right corner speed on a particular corner, is that going to cost me a chance to get that lap time complete? So I guess we'll find out. I don't even know how how long the lap time is around here. 11, 10 minutes? I guess it's going to have to be around 10 minutes, really, to make to make this make sense, to actually uh, complete the objective. But regarding the 600s, it's not, it's not really been uh, a category I've used that much. I've been more on the superbikes. But jumping back onto the R6, we did the Honda yesterday with Joey Thompson with the fuel. And i got to say, I rather enjoyed making that video. And using the 600s again certainly inspired me for this career mode objective. Now we have our first difficult braking mark here. So chucking out the right Garnet boot into the right hand side. And then into the small bump for the bungalow corner. Tackle that one pretty well, I dare say. But now we're getting to a stage where I'm not particularly confident. I think I've only done this one once or twice. I do know the corner that is approaching, so I'll keep an eye on the map in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and then I'll try and gauge where we need to brake. Now, bear in mind, with the 600, I can go quite firm on the brakes, even incorporate a bit of rear brake as well. And I would dare say we tackle that one quite well. So, not bad start on board the R6. I would say looking pretty good. I feel very confident with the R6. I do really really like this bike and of course using Lee Johnson is very special as of course uh, Lee Johnson's currently injured and in a bad way from the th uh, crash in the Northwest uh, 200 just recently so I do hope that uh, he can get back on his feet soon and get back to racing again. Of course we didn't see him in British Superbike this weekend due to his injury but now into the left hand side I'm not sure where I needed to break there so I kind of breaks a little bit prematurely kind of wasted the momentum going into the left hand side and now going into a right hander just gentle just casual don't need to be downshifting too much I think possibly downshift a second next time around but a quick short shift up to fourth and then back down the gears to the left hand side again losing a bit of momentum there I think uh, I'll tell you what was something that's really difficult actually is that glare I have turned off any sort of bloom or um, any go oh the wacky waving inflatable arm floating tube man to the right hand side of the screen there love to see it Dot race pit crew rejoice, chuck in the emoji if you're watching this video. But yeah, that horrible glare is really shining on the circuit here and quite honestly blinding me. I've got my Philips Hue lights on etc to, uh, to keep the room nice and bright, but goodness me, it's quite hard in your eyes there, uh, staring at that one and trying to manage against the uh, map in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. But now with a quick couple of change of direction, I think we have an opportunity to suggest for you guys to hit the subscribe button. Of course, if you are a fan of this content so far, then I can assure you, you'll enjoy the rest of my videos. So why not go out there and hit the subscribe button as we almost make our big mistake. That's our only mistake so far. So what, four and a half minutes in, approaching five minutes, comes the first error. And I don't think I've really been this far, so gotta be careful now. How tight are these apexes? 
Oh, it's a lot wider than I'm assuming here. This is going to be rather difficult. I do find the map can sometimes be very misleading. You can have a very sharp corner that doesn't look too, too bad. That must be an extremely sharp corner coming up, so we must break nice and early, downshift to first gear and keep it into the right-hand side. Yeah, I would say that we did that pretty well into the left-hand side. A little bit deeper there for my liking, but we managed to make the corner. And now for the big couple of straight. We've got a twisting, winding section here for the R6 to move left to right, back over to left, and back to right again for the Nature Reserve. Now, I have done this bit, but I believe I've done it in reverse. I do believe we've done this in reverse, so we, we should effectively be going downhill in a moment. I know I did some of the uh, free roam yesterday, and I think I went round this area. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but there could be a little bit of a street... A little town, possibly? I'm, I'm not clued up on my uh, Isle of Man tracks yet. But yes, we are approaching a built-up area. So now into the towns and city. We need to be really on our game here. Look how the, the road's tightened up now. We've got shrubbery, we've got trees, we've got uh, bushes. Things are going to get more difficult. So I know exactly where we are now. That small dip. Is that where Pete Hickman crashed when we were playing the other day? Could have been. That was a scary moment, if I do recall. I think I was using uh, Kalju for that one, but now into the right-hand side. Quick change of direction, and then keep on the power somewhat, and then just gradually come off the power. You can stay in fourth if you want to, or drop down to third. Probably should have dropped down to third to get that oomph coming out of the corner, but it is what it is. Small mistake will possibly cost us, but we're going to the right now. The last time I did this track, I went to the left. So into the Douglas Road corner for the right-hand side. There's the Isle of Man flag. Oh, a small moment in the middle of the road there. Going off camber, just dipping into the track. Very scary moment for Lee Johnston. As we now go into the middle parts of the town. Now, I do believe we are back on the main TT full circuit. So, the full snowfall. Uh, snowfall, I can never say it. Sorry, <laughs> I butchered it. I think we're on the full version now. So, approaching somewhere up here as we get caught on the curb and onto the pavement. Not ideal. We've soon got a rather large jump to contend to. This is the first jump, uh, somewhat more of a wheelie, let's be honest. So we now quickly drop down into fourth gear, back up to fifth, back into sixth. Couple of quick short shifts there to keep the momentum of the bike down. So we now go to the left hand side, quick change of direction, back over to the right. Still going relatively full acceleration here. That right uh, index finger will soon be tired at the end of this one. But so far, looking pretty good. I'm happy, I'm content. I'm pushing, but we're also uh, being smart about this one. Just trying to take my time, but what we must recall is we did start from a standing start. So bear that in mind for the next lap where we should be going significantly quicker. Now approaching the map in the bottom left of corner of your screen, it should be a rather large jump this one. Best to go early, calm it down a little bit, s scrub off that speed, take the jump at 66 miles an hour and back to it. I love that. No respite, no rest. No small moment to catch your breath. You've been airborne, you've landed it. Right, get back to the attack. A bit like me with content, really. The second you've done one video, you're already on to the next one. <laughs> Charging and pushing away as we're pretty much replicating here. There's a bit of a wheelie as we're going over the crest there. I think we're doing our best Lee Johnston impression right now. Absolute balls to the wall. <laughs> Just going for it. Takes a man with big cojones to ride around the TT. And who better than Lee Johnston? Quick change of direction. Back over to the right. Back again to the left-hand side. Oh, it's a whirling dervish moving that many times. Back and forth, left to right. There's got to be a song in there somewhere. Some kind of crazy dance. But now back into the firm parts of the brakes. Oh, I don't know if I've scrubbed off enough speed. I think we're all right. A little bit late into the corner near the church. And we're good. Say your prayers, ladies and gentlemen, because I almost went down there. We're all right. We're still good. Oh, goodness me, this looks ominous. I tackled this part in free roam earlier. But I can't say how well I really paid that much attention. I think I was just gr gliding through at a nice gradual speed. I can't say I was pushing at maximum with a, uh, with a fear of a time limit. Just ticking down, or at least in this case, ticking upwards. Now into the right hand side, quick change of direction. Careful of the wall, oh goodness me, careful of those, uh, I don't even know what you'd call them. Barriers, cones, LED lights, I don't know. <laughs> what are they, road markings? 
I'm not, <laughs> you can tell I'm not familiar with racing on the TT as we almost cut the corner there. Anticipate my first penalty, but look at that. Uh, we are now past the 10 minute mark, so this is a great sign, ladies and gentlemen. If the next lap consists of another 10 minutes, we would have completed this objective. So that is the first lap completed. And let me tell you guys, yeah, the commentary might make it sound easy, but it's not. This was pure stress. The, the pressure going into this one, because it's not like some of your objectives in some of the other bike games, like in Milestone Games for Ride 4, for example. Some of them are really easy to compete with. You just smash it, no problem. Maybe I could have done the same here by upgrading the bike, and where the hell did I get penalty from? <laughs> I got half a second penalty, but I don't know where. So, alright, we have a half a second penalty, but this is a stock bike. I think I might have made one upgrade, but I don't recall what part of the bike it was. I don't think it's anything to get too excited about nonetheless, but maybe if I had upgraded the bike, this probably wouldn't have been so much stress. But this was intense. This is a difficult challenge, this. I did have a couple of mis uh, videos before this where I tried to make this and I kept making mistakes. This time, I'm going for it, so whatever happens, it is what happens. No more overtakes, excuse me, no more rewinds or uh, restarts. This is the ultimate take. So we've got to get this done here. And we've never been this far. We've never been on lap two of the Northwest. With the added uh, pressure of that time limit, it's certainly in the back of your mind. We should be solid though, we have to be, surely. The first lap was 10 minutes, you can't be doing maths when you're racing, but we should be fine. <laughs> Let's just hope we are. We've got another 10 minutes to contend with here. In fact, less than that. We're now less than 10 minutes to get this circuit done. You can see on the map and the the completion stage, the whole circle around the map gives you an indication. Ooh, a little bit too wide for that corner there, downshifting into second to try and get that oomph coming out of the corner. Well, you can see that map, you can see how much of this track is still le left to go. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video, I really do. I do appreciate it's a longer one, but if you're sitting here and still enjoying it, then I give a massive shout out to you, and uh, why not hit that like button anyway, <laughs> since we're here. But back over to the left hand side, just briefly, to so try and gauge the bike. Look at the bike, it never reaches zero degrees angle for long, does it? It's back and forth, moving left and right, it's always, it's on the way somewhere. 45 plus degrees lean angle in some of these corners, but now, in the firm part of the tyre we brake. To the right hand side, tackled that one very nicely, didn't hit the bump. The bump was a sort of a scaring moment for me, I was a little bit nervous about any sort of bumps here in TT3, because sometimes the bumps can really just take the bike from underneath you. You can be on your limit, you might even just be riding normally, and if you're going the wrong speed or hit a bump, bang, down. Got to be on your top of your game when you're doing this, and very tight to the apex there, almost kissing the blue sort of cushion to the right hand side there, bang his helmet on there and you'll certainly know about it. Lee Johnston on the R6 giving it everything in the latter stages of this one. I am really enjoying this one though. It's stress, it's certainly intense, but I'm giving it everything. I did mention this in a previous video that I should probably wear the heart rate monitor because my heart was pounding. I can't, I can't lie to you, my heart was intense for this one. It's, it's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of work to do knowing that you've got such a vast amount of track to contend with, such a lap time to deal with as well. If you're unfamiliar with the track, it, it's a lot of things to really divulge in two laps. It's uh, certainly something you have to be on the top of your game for, and we've gone a little bit deep into the right-hand side. Look at the bike just squirming upon the right-hand side. Could probably increase the traction control to alleviate that issue, but it is what it is. We'll stay as we are right now. The electronics are still the same as what I did the last time I did a 600. No ABS, no traction control, only anti wheel at 1 and engine brake remained at 2. And no, of course, I didn't forget the wacky waving arm inflatable tube man to the right hand side of the screen. How could you? He's a legend. A regular ace now in these TT videos. <laughs> Do love to see our orange tube man. Allegedly, the tube man holds the secrets for TT Isle of Man 3. If you want to improve, consult the Tube Man. At least that's what Off-Grid Madman tells me in the chat. <laughs> so back over now to the left hand side. Got to keep focus now. Got to stay within the limit, within the rhythm. Got to break early for this one. Reading the map is probably the most difficult part of this one. 
Balancing the two. Look at that line we left early from going onto the uh, soil. Pretty good so far. So I would say, if all remains as it is, we don't crash, we stay on top of our game, we stay focused and we continue putting in the same pace, this should be a given. It should be pretty good. And I feel we're tackling this section now with a lot more confidence. We're tackling it with glee. We have the temerity to continue pushing now, and that's what we're going to do as we now go to the right-hand side. I don't want to be pushing too much into these right-handers. The combination of this right and the left hand can be very difficult. Oh, we've dropped the fight. Oh, no. Is that going to cost us? Has that just cost us our chance of completing this objective? I really didn't feel like I carried too much speed in there, but there was just a small bobble. The R6 just got out of shape ever so slightly and we went crashing down. Wow, that is tense. The stress levels are through the roof here in the TT. Oh, goodness me. What? I need to do the maths here. How much time did we lose there? Surely we can't have lost too much time. At the very least, in that corner, it's a very slow corner, so we're not going to be losing too much momentum. We also started from a standing start, which is probably the equivalent of what time we've lost. We should still be on par with it. This is what my mind is going for this one. Oh, I can't believe I crashed, though. Oh, I'm really frustrated with that. I cannot believe I've done that. And the worst thing to do now is ride aggressive, ride angry. And the worst, I guess, is the most ultimate worst one, is to ride panicked. To ride stressed. To ride with a fear of that you may not achieve the objective. If we don't achieve the objective, then so be it. I can always do this video again. It's not a problem. But the tense nature of this game just doesn't let up. It's not something I've felt in a, in a bike game for a while. Probably the closest thing to get it is in the MotoGP career modes when I use Power Setting 1. And I end up having a terrific race. And, of course, the ultimate one is racing online with the aces. <laughs> There's always a certain amount of t tenacity and intensity for those races. Especially for me, anyway. I'm just a very excited and intense player when I play online. Especially when it comes to the aces, because those guys are special. But now into the Kurt Michael. Back into a familiar part of track we've done before. We know what to do here. Just got to stay on it. Keep on pushing past the petrol station and keep on going. Keep well away from the pavement this time around if we can, which we do. Maintain the right amount of speed here and tackle that with much better precision. Nice big jump over the line there, or at least, excuse me, over the crest. That was beautiful. Big wheelie, not this time. Big jump, that's what I'm thinking about. Yes. All right, back on it again, though, still charging down. And I've got to be honest with you, my hand's getting tired. The right trigger is certainly laying pressure on the right index finger. I have to keep on going, though. Cannot wait a moment. We cannot rest. No rest for the wicked, ladies and gentlemen. No rest for the wicked. Look how close we are on that map in the bottom left corner of your screen, though. That progression bar is filling, and we are getting closer to another jump. Prepare yourselves, boys and girls. Steal yourself. We're going to tackle another jump. 60 miles an hour this time around. Up in the air. Land on both wheels and get straight back to it. <laughs> Nothing comes close to that, I swear. I guess it's like when you play a rally game and the car flies in the air, lands, it jumps, it bounces, the suspension kicks in, and then just straight back into it again, drifting into the next corner. Absolutely insane. And this is how this one feels, but with more tension. There's a lot of tension, this one, I swear. This has been stress <laughs> in the best possible way, I swear. But now it's past church again, is it? No, not quite. Got a few more corners to go, I'm getting ahead of myself here. As we continue to charge down the streets of the Isle of Man. Into the Solby Strait. You can see it in the map in the bottom left of one of your screen now, guys and gals. That church is approaching. So keep an eye out, Vickers. We're on our way. Hard on the brakes we'll need to be. Brakes roughly around that red cushion on the wall there as we now break into the right hand side near the telephone pole back into the built-up area, so it's down to 30 miles an hour in this area. Get Lee Johnson a speeding ticket, because he's certainly not adhering to that. Not at this stage, at least. Oh, we've gone down again. Too eager. To the right-hand side, to the change of direction. We've gone down. Great view for the people in the bedroom of that house. 
They'll be watching it in the living room. They'll see it from the conservatory. Lee Johnson has gone down. Oh, the pressure now. This is nerve-wracking. Is it going to take me a minute and ten seconds to conclude the final part of this track? We can't put a faster lap time in now compared to the previous lap. We've got to be close, though. We've got to be able to do this now, surely. I can't believe I made a second mistake. I'm really annoyed at myself for that. Stupid, stupid error. Didn't need to push that hard into that right-hander. Had it. Didn't need to do that. But I think... I don't think I need to beat myself up anymore, guys and girls. I think we've done it. 30 seconds to get across the line after this corner. Yeah, we've done it. We're going to do it, guys. We've done it. Oh, that was stress. <laughs> oh, we've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was intense. But we've done it. That was a very difficult career objective. And i got to be honest with you, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Maybe not upgrading the bike made that more interesting. I guess so. So I think we'll probably stick with that from now on. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it. It might have been tense and nerve-wracking, but my God, it makes for interesting content. So guys, thanks for watching as always. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy. Drop me a comment down below what you want to see next. And I guess upon that note, I'll see you in the next video. Consider joining the Dot Trace Pit Crew if you want your name at the end of the video. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. So ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.